All right, what's up guys? So tonight we're fishing this nice pond here. It's got some, as you can see, it's got some brush. The fish here really like buzz baits too. I was here uh, earlier in the summer and I caught like a five pound run of buzz bait. So hopefully we can do that again tonight. Uh, it might rain, but usually rain coming in makes the fish bite. So hopefully I can get some fish tonight for you guys. All right, so I've got got a uh, flipping hook set up. Get that out of the way. So I'll start off with, I've got a flipping hook, so like a flipping bait to flip into some of this brush. I have a, a swim jig. I really come to like swim jigs. And then I have the good old buzzing bait with a trailer hook, black and gold. It's a war eagle. War eagles are my personal favorite. If you have a brand of buzz baits that you like, you can leave them in the comments. You may check them out. So, I think I'm gonna start off with a, do I want a speed craw or a D-bomb? I want a D-bomb. I'm gonna flip a little bit of this, uh, this here, uh, some of this brush. Because last time I was here, I lost a pretty decent fish in that uh, brush. This brush and stumps and whatever. So hopefully I can get a fish. Flipping, just on a, a four-aught flipping hook. I'd put that on there and uh, rig that bad boy up. Make sure that it's 100% weedless because don't want to get it hung up. There we go. Kind of matches the water clarity a little bit. A little bit darker water we're dealing with tonight. Try to get one here. Golly. That freaking thump, bro. Dang it, man. Great, I wasn't recording, but I finally got one. Got one on, I switched up. I had like three bites on this little point here. I switched up to a Zoom Super Speed Craw in like a black and blue color. I got this nice little bass here. Gonna go ahead and toss him back. Uh, that's my first one of the night. That was like my third bite I had on that spot. So who knows if it was the same fish or not. I'm assuming it was, but it was a, uh, you go ahead, you know, you pull it over. What I'm assuming is a rock, because there's a ton of rock down there. You go ahead and pull it over a rock, all of a sudden you feel tick, 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 and your line starts running off, and typically that's a fish. So hopefully that'll key me in. Bite number one is always important, so let's, or you know, like fish number one's always important, so let's see if we can't get fish number two. Good one. Oh, it's a good one. He's out. Oh God, yeah. My dead gum rage car right there, baby. Here we go. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good one there. Oh heck yeah, dude. Felt him whack it in that brush right there. All right. Heck yeah, dude. Oh, whoa, whoa, buddy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy cow. Man, he took me for a ride. It's probably close to a three pounder. Because that is a fat, fat fish. Go ahead and. That almost looked like a twister tail there. There, look at that guy right there. That's like a three. Probably a three and a half. No, it's probably three. I don't know. Super nice fish. Got caught up in the. Uh, there's a stick in there. He got caught up in there, but he munched it too. So that's a really super nice, healthy fish. I mean, just look at that guy. Super healthy. I'm going to go ahead and toss him back. Try not to fall in while it's raining. Perfect. There he goes. So that fish came on when I got my first one on, which was a, got a flipping hook. I got a zoom, 
zoom craw, but look what that fish did to my line. He frayed it all up. So I'm gonna have to retie now. Which, if you try to set the hook on frayed fluorocarbon like that, I'm gonna go with about 90% of the time you're gonna break those fish off. And who likes breaking fish off? Because I know I don't. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and retie and then I'll get back to you when I do. Nice. Dude, I love the fish in these ponds. They're so healthy. Oh, I know it, man. There's some really nice fish around here. Dude, and I don't think I ever sent you a picture. I got a five and a half over there the first time I was here. Really? Yeah, it was a nice fish. Yeah. The fish is so pale. Yeah. Yeah, but when I came here ice fishing. All right, guys, that's going to do it tonight. Uh, didn't do too bad. Caught some fish. Wasn't my best night, but you know, when you're able to go out and, you know, after work and catch, caught three so far. Yeah, not an awful night. Definitely could have been better. Uh, missed a couple bites that I'm thinking were uh, some nice fish, but hopefully you guys enjoyed my little, there's a frog back there. Hopefully you enjoyed my little video I made up and uh, I have some kind of sad news. I'm gonna drop right now. Uh, today is August 7th, I believe. Filmed on August 7th. Um, as of right now, I'm leaving for college in a week and I'm not gonna be able to put up as many videos. And I just fumbled all my rods. But I'm not gonna be able to make a whole lot of videos for you guys over the next couple months. But on my breaks, like um, obviously I'm on summer break right now, but winter break. I'm gonna hit the ice fishing videos really hard. Uh, I've still got some Canada videos I need to get out, but I'm, the problem is, is I'm really lazy and I work like nine hour days, so I really don't feel like uploading sometimes or even just taking the time to edit. But just so that you guys know that I'm not gonna be able to put out a whole lot of new content. I mean, I might be able to get out some like pond videos or some trout or something like that, but you know, hopefully you guys bear with me. I'd really like to see my channel grow some more, but that involves putting in work. But when you're trying to, you know, get through college in four years that YouTube takes a backseat. So hopefully you guys, you know, are able, able to understand that and, you know, see where I'm coming from. Uh, unless my channel blows up, I'm not dropping out of college. I think that's kind of dumb to drop out of college and do YouTube, but I mean, there's some people who've made it work. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, uh, kind of a more serious note, and I will see you guys on the next video.